Hi, this is Chris Celine with Dark Block. I am going to show you how to leverage Dark Block and Unlock Protocol uh, to rent out content in a Web3 native way, which I think is pretty cool. All right, let's go to Unlock first, and we will create a lock. Um, I'll do the, this other way to do it. Um, and this is actually deploying an NFT contract. So we'll call it test content rental. We'll do a duration of 0 0.01 days, which is about 14 minutes. Uh, put some number in here for the sale and we'll make it a very reasonable price of 0.01 Matic. Click next. Ah, looks good to me. And then we need to sign this transaction to deploy this contract. Cost a whopping eight cents and should take just a few seconds. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. Uh, and then we can start managing it. All right, now we have created this contract. Um, so now let's grab this actual contract ID, grab it in the URL, it can grab it down here, address copied, and then we can go to the Dark Block app. We can connect on Polygon, see some NFTs here. Um, what we want to do here is go up to Upgrade Collection, and we place the contract address that we want to upgrade. And for this particular uh, dark block, we want to enforce the unlock protocol. So we'll select this box. Now, if we don't select this box, it means that anybody who owns one of those NFTs can view the content, regardless of when the unlock protocol uh, says the NFT has expired. So we'll, we'll click on enforce this, which will enforce uh, that timeline. And there's some other things that we can do here, but we're going to skip most of this. You can select um, token ranges or specific tokens to target. We're going to um, not do any of that because this will allow us to uh, enable the content to be available to anyone who uh, buys a key or an NFT uh, from that contract. You can also do trait targeting uh, if you so choose. Um, select a contract standard ERC721. And then we can uh, choose a file. Um, we'll grab uh, this video here. Um, sweet NFT video. Um, put an optional description in here. We'll leave that blank for now. And click Create. This will prompt us to sign a piece of data. This is not actually creating a transaction. Uh, on Polygon, it is just asking us to sign a piece of data that makes sure that we verify that we are the creator of the NFT and uh, we are binding it with this signature, uh, this piece of data, uh, or sorry, this, this content to that NFT. So this encrypts and uploads the content to our weave. And we're done. Um, so we've added a piece of content to this contract. So let's go back to unlock and we will actually purchase uh, one of the keys. Here we can do that uh, directly in this widget within the checkout builder. So we have the test rental uh, contract. So let's actually buy a key. All right, we'll pay with Matic, pay using crypto. So for 0.01, we have purchased, we'll purchase this NFT. So princely sum of five cents, including the transaction fees, minting the NFT. All right, we have successfully minted. So now let's go back to the dark block app and we will actually view that content. Uh, we'll go to my NFTs, and here's this new key that we created. And 
Um, there are a lot of things you can do to customize uh, the look and description and things around this NFT. All right, now we'll load this page that represents uh, this particular NFT key. We see we have this sweet NFT vi video. We'll authenticate ownership, which means we just need to sign a piece of data. This is not actually um, creating a transaction. Um, we're just verifying our ownership here. And then we can unlock and watch this awesome video. Uh, now we'll go back to unlock uh, after some time has passed. Uh, we look at our keys here and we see that this latest key that we got is actually expired. Or I think it's this one, test rental here. So if we come back to our uh, dark block app and we reload the page, we will actually see the unlockable content disappear because the key has expired.